Hey all this is DF Digger. That's a Friday, 15th. Um, down here at the uh, Piscataquis River in front of Browns Mills. Uh, right over in this area where these rapids are, it gets kind of shallow right in through these rapids. So I'm going to test it today. Um, I checked the USGS site just before I left the house, um, probably about five minutes ago, and was setting just below 3.2 feet. Um, I'm going to get in there, and um, I know I've told you guys two feet, um, but I want you guys to see how difficult it, it possibly can be in some areas, even at this height here, um, and why I say two feet or under two feet is usually good. Um, but Right out in front of this island, there's a sandbar that comes right down through here, and it's fairly shallow in there um, in the summertime. So I'm going to go up to the rapids here, walk across, see if anything was deposited on the island over the spring, and, um, and then we'll just kind of work around in this shallow spot out here. I know it doesn't look it from here, but once I get out on the water, you guys will be able to see. All right, folks, uh, I'll get back to you if I find anything. Awesome. All right, folks, uh, just moving my way across the river right here. Now, generally, and you can see right where, this, this is generally pretty shallow, right? Like, say, right in this one spot where it's high ground like this. And that's usually down around my ankles. So, I mean, that's setting, you know, maybe close to a foot um, where it normally should be in the summertime where it's uh, easy to work, work around and stuff. But I can tell you right now, I haven't even put my coil in the water, and it would almost be futile um, because this water is moving so fast right now. It would take a lot of strength just to keep that coil in. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna work my way over here. You can see where it starts to shallow up. I might try right in here for a second. Um, Water's still a little bit of cold, so if you guys dare to come up, I would definitely still say uh, bring some waders with you. Uh, for now, summertime it gets like bath water. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to try right around in this area here, where it's kind of slowed down the current. Well, it's still moving, but I might be able to swing the coil and um, come across anything. I'll let you know. Uh, from there, I'm going to head over onto the island. Like I said, uh, stuff can be moved up there. Found buttons and stuff. Um, but all right, see you on the first line. All right, folks, yeah, I tried uh, swinging a coil on that, and um, my arm started aching within a minute. Uh, even though it looks shallow, there's a lot of water still moving through here. Um, so I decided to move up on the banks here, came across an old piece of copper over there, just came down through here, and ended up getting a 4950 signal. And it seems like it's hard enough metal it could possibly be pewter maybe one of those screw tops for a creamer set or it could have been I don't know something else not exactly sure but first find and uh, yeah the water's calming down but we're supposed to begin a pretty good uh, amount of rain tonight which is gonna rise it back up but I'm thinking maybe by the end of uh, next week maybe Thursday or Friday um, this may be huntable at that point. Um, I'm definitely going to be trying and keep on checking it. Um, and I'll definitely let everybody know um, if it's good or not. But yeah, this is going to be a test on the simplex. Um, that lower shaft is plastic, and there's a lot of torque on that lower shaft when I was coming through the water. Um, I'm going to work my way down through this little island here, and then I'll get on the other side where it's shallow. And what a, that's kind of dead water there, so I might be able to swing the coil a little bit. Um, but I'm going to head downstream and just move back and forth instead of trying to fight the current either sideways or up. Uh, but, all right, I'll catch you on the next one, guys. All right, folks, I just uh, have been moving around on the island here and out in the water a little bit. Uh, like I said, right in this dead water, it's not too bad. Uh, usually what I'll do is I'll... I'll just kind of swing the coil, kind of like in a small figure eight, and just go slow through it. Uh, I did just get a good signal here. Uh, one thing I love about this machine is we're going to test her out. That's where she's going to set. Grab my pin pointer. Uh, 
Now when you guys are down here, um, I should be doing this with my other hand. This water is cold right now. But what you're basically going to do, I got to pull my arm out for a second, is reach down there with your pinpointer. You may hear it if it's shallow enough, but you're going to have to rely on that vibration. And, uh, Woo! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got to give my fingers a little bit. Uh, what I'm going to do is dig that up with uh, my little hand tool there and uh, see what it is. If it's anything cool, I'll get back to you. Uh, but yeah, right now the water is uh, pretty chilly. Uh, this week's coming up here. Maybe that'll be enough to warm this up a little bit to be more tolerable. But all right, I'll figure out what this is and I'll get back to you. Oh yeah, and she's still sitting under water. It's gonna stay there until I find whatever that is, and uh, see if she turns back on. Works. All right, guys. All right, folks. Came on uh, my first uh, cool little find, and oh, let me uh, unmute this. And yeah, it was a scratchy noise in one area, one way. Let me mute that show you guys what I found doesn't look like much from here but if you look at the bottom I would dare say that this was a uh, silver plated uh, mat safe at one point that would have been the striker right there uh, so someplace in the river here there's a uh, there's the rest of that not sure how good it's gonna be in for condition um, I did find a kind of a chintzy match safe there last year uh, yeah I'm still uh, just covering over this island and that there was just down there an inch or so um, so yeah come across anything else I'll get you guys back on all right all right folks uh, next little find here is a uh, kind of a surface find I toned over it look down uh, looks like we got ourselves a little fishing lure right here Yeah, I don't know how many of those I've found in this river. Quite a few. But, all right, we're just going to keep hunting around. Catch you on the next one. Hey, folks. Uh, went back down to the uh, end of the park here. And uh, I figured I'd try in some of these uh, shallow parts right along the edge of the uh, banks here. Um, just moving from here out to the end of my detector here. That it, It's very hard and you try getting out in areas like that out there and it's very dangerous right now um, I'm not trying to hold anybody up I just want everybody to be safe when they come up um, but I did come across a neat little find here it was coming up oh well actually let me show you so a solid 51 and I'm gonna close the cover up on this guys and I'm gonna take you underwater uh, this will be the uh, first underwater shot of the year all right yeah hold on a sec Hey folks, just came on my next little find here, and uh, these are the little pewter tops that would have gone on glass bottles back in the day for powders and stuff. Um, I want to say this one here is a Colgate one. I think I can see Colgate and company on there. And I've got a whole little collection of these. Um, some of them are pretty fancy and stuff. Uh, this one here is missing the top, which, you know, those there are usually the fancy parts of them, but... A lot of times you can get the text off them and stuff. So I'll get pictures of that a little later. But yeah, I'm just hunting around and on these shores where these little dead pools are. Um, I'll catch you guys on the next one. All right, folks, I just came across my next find here. I'm going to let you see what the VDIs are. So pretty much 28, 27. 
and uh, this is what it is. I'll take you in the water and let you check it out. Folks, this is a uh, first piece of pewter for the year, so that's cool. Uh, looks like it might have been a stand at one point. I'll move back out, but yeah, it was a stand. Had a post on it or something. All right, awesome. Uh, first piece of pewter. Uh, hopefully, uh, we'll find some more. That one's for you, Cynthia. All right, folks, have a good one. I'll catch you on the next one. All right, folks, I just came across my next find here. Uh, 1958 uh, license plate tag. Yeah. All right. I'll catch you on the next one.